Well, David, lovely comment. Um, it's good to actually hear someone who's actually asking a genuine question. With lots of greyhound races daily, how do you keep track of them all? Do you have a tracker like horse racing? Yes, I have a tracker. Um, but there's a lot of tracks I don't go near. Um, the likes of Kinsley, Suffolk Downs, um, Harlow I'd very rarely touch. Um, so there's tracks I've got a good feel for and there's other tracks that, that I tend to stay away with. So I know there's a lot of racing on. Um, but for, for example, um, this morning, um, the meetings, there was Harlow that I didn't go near, Kinsley that I don't go near, Suffolk Downs I don't go near. So this morning's meetings was only really Hove and Swindon um, to focus on. So it's not like I have to go through every single um, every single race um, and race card um, from a track. Um, in terms of the tracker, yeah, I've mark, I mark what dogs to have a look at. Um, and I've got a, a long list. I'm pretty much old school, so it's on an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and then obviously look at the form study with the recent post. Look at the replays um, via the Telegram um, app that I'm in. Um, gives you a replay of every single race in England. And look and look and see if the form matches up. It's all right saying that from the racing post that the dog might have crowded at the first bend. How bad was the crowd? And you're not going to know until you look at the replay. So it's a long process. It's not just a uh, just a case of one minute in each race. It it, it takes time. Um, hence why I, I, I charge sixty pound a month for for the effort that I'm putting in, and also the results that we're getting. Um, but any other questions? Just drop me a message. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you.